What's up, Carolina's AGC? Ed Patton, Chelsea Andahar here with you this week for your two-minute news and events update. Early voting began last Thursday in North Carolina and is in full swing all this week and ending on Saturday, November 1st. In South Carolina, if you're not submitting an absentee ballot, get out to the polls on Election Day. We can have a big impact on the outcome of this election and the policies that follow. So let's get out the construction vote. On Tuesday, Bill Stricker will speak to Appalachian State University Student Construction Clubs about Carolina's AGC, the industry, and pre-construction services. On Wednesday, almost 200 top construction students from over 15 universities will compete in simulations to demonstrate their knowledge. Teams will be evaluated by industry judges and awards are given in the areas of commercial building, heavy civil construction, design build, and concrete. Carolina's AGC is proud to join with the Associated Schools of Construction this year in this event and will have over 30 companies participating with a chance to recruit from this pool of next generation leaders. This Saturday, November 1st, Carolina's AGC Foundation, led by the CAGC Young Leaders, will spend the day working with Homeworks of America rehabbing a home for a family in need in Fort Mill, South Carolina. We will start bright and early and work until the job is done. Thank you to our sponsors, Duffy Southeast Construction, Catalyst Surety Partners and State Utility Contractors. Registration is open to all young leaders for the CAGC Young Leaders Fall Meeting on Friday, November 14th. The CAGC Young Leaders will spend the day in personal leadership development and growth with Nicholas Beeman of the Center of Intentional Leadership. This event is free for all and lunch will be provided, but you must register by November 5th. In North Carolina legislative news, Dave Simpson participates this week in a public-private partnership forum at the governor's office, an important discussion at a time when there is limited public funding for construction. In South Carolina legislative news, Leslie Hope reminds you to get out to vote. No excuses. The government relations page has helpful election information like debate coverage, bond referendums, etc. And finally, CAGC lobbyists in both states need your support through donations to the North Carolina PAC and South Carolina PAC as they continue to receive funding requests from pro-construction, pro-business candidates. Thank you for watching and have a fun and safe Halloween week.